there. Thanks for joining me to color. Today we're going to be working on my Color Wednesday blog post for January 25th, 2017. We're going to be using this cute Mohs digital pencil image called Lemons. Isn't she just a doll? I will put a link down in the description box if you'd like to head over and grab the image and color along too. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment. Or if you just want to say hi, that's great too, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I printed my image on Nina 80-pound Solarite cardstock, so let's color. Okay, so let's give our girl a quick outline. For that, we're going to use C00. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to start down here at her leg and go all the way around. And I like to do this first so I don't accidentally touch any of the colors I already colored and drag them out into the background because I would just so do that every time. I'm going to go up here around this little hair. And I don't worry about how thick the line is. I just kind of go along with my pen and what I get is what I get. You may be a little bit more um, conservative and decide to you know, not do that. And then we're going to color some of these little spaces in. Go up here. She's got very curly hair. And here's a space right here and right there. And I'm going to go around these ones that are poking up. And I'm not really worried about getting any on her because when it dries, it's going to be really light. You'll barely, barely see it. And I'm going to color her hair brown. So if I get some on there, that will cover that right up. And down this side. Get a little space here between the handle. And back down to the bottom of her leg. Let's do her skin next. For that, we're going to use V20, E11, E00, E000, E50. And for her cheeks, I'm going to use RO2 and RO1. I'm going to start down here on her legs. Let me get a little closer there. I'm going to start with my V20. And for that, I'm going to give her leg a little shadow right here by her shorts and then I'm going to go underneath of her knee and then over here I'm going to do a little bit in this little corner here and then again under her knee and then I'm going to grab E11 and from that I'm going to go right over the top of that V20 and I'm going to go down to her bottom of her leg and around to the other side. And I'm also going to do her toes right here. And let's go under her knee. And then for this leg, we're going to do the same thing. toes. And she's got a little ankle right there, so I'm going to give that a little dab of color. Then I'm going to add E00. And for that I want to go right over the top of my E11. And brush out here into my white. Over her feet. Same for this side. Then I'm going to add E double zero. And for that, I'm just going to swipe over her entire leg. And 
And then I've been liking adding my E50 for a little bit of yellow. If you hate that, don't put it on, but we're going to use E50. And I'm going to go right over the top of the entire leg. Voila. Let's go up here and we'll do her arm. So again, grab your um, V20. And for that, let's do a little dab right here in the crook of her arm. And then for this arm, I'm going to go from about her elbow right here up to this little line that's already on here. Then I'm going to add E11. So for that, let's do on this hand, I'm going to do a little bit on her finger. And then let's come up this finger. Like that. And then over here on this arm, let's go right down bottom of her finger and back up the other side then I'm going to do E double zero so let's brush this up here Same for this side. And she's also got a little bit of skin showing up here on her top, so I'm going to get that right in here and over here on this side. She's got a little bit showing there, just so I don't forget it, because I know I will. And then we're going to add E double zero or triple zero. And for that, I'm going to go over her entire arm. Same for this side. Then I'm going to go over that with my E50. I'm also going to do these little spots that I did in her neck here, or up here on her top. Then we're going to do her face. So again, grab your V20. And for that, I'm going to do, she's got a couple little creases right here where her eye is. So I'm going to go over that. Same for this side. And then she's got a little bit of a crease here on her nose, so I'm going to dab that. And then up here, I'm going to give it a little bit on her forehead down the side of her face. Then we're going to add E11. So I'm going to give her a little dab, too, in her ear. So let's do that before I forget. And then for her eye, let's go over this, the, our V20. Then I'm going to add E double zero. in that ear and she's got another little bit of, of her ear showing on this side so I'm going to dab that and then let's do a little bit here on each of these eyes and then I want to add cheek color so I want to go up over her cheek and then on her forehead I'm going to bring that over here to that hair And 
And then I'm going to grab my cheek color. So let's do RO2. Let's do a little dab down here. And then over here. And then I want to add RO1. So I'm going to soften the edge of those cheeks. And then I'm also going to color her lips in. As long as I got the color out. And then we're going to add E00 again. right here around her mouth. I'm going to go right over that cheek. And then over this way on her forehead. Then I'm going to grab E triple zero. swipe over her entire face. And then I'm going to take my E50 and use that to swipe over her entire face. I think I'll add another coat of my E00 over here on this side right here. And then for her lips, I'm going to do my R01 a second time. Put a little bit up here on her cheek. Pink those up just a little bit more. Let's do her hair. For that, we're going to use E44, 23, and 43. But first, she has a headband in her hair. For that, I'm going to color it in with YG25. So I know where it's at. So I'm just going to go right over the top of that. Then I'm going to go with E44. And what I'm going to do is just pick some random curls. So I'm going to do right here behind her neck first. And then we're going to do, I'm just going to pick some random curls to stick some color on. Let's see, how about this one? And how about some in here? And what about this little swirl right here? I'm going to bring this up into her hair, or next to her headband. And then we're going to work our way over here. So let's do this little swirl. And I'm going to give it a little bit in here. And 
And then she's got a little bit down here above her forehead. So let's do a few of these little stripes she's got in here. Then I'm going to add E23. And for that, I'm just going to go right next to some of these E47s um, and just add some more swirls in there on top of that. Some random ones down here on her bangs, or where her hair is pulled back. Yeah, I think I'll do a little bit right here. Then I'm going to add E43. And I'm just going to fill in all those little white spots. our way around there. Did I miss any? I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to put a little color right here. So I'm going to grab E23. Put a little swirl in there. I'm going to do the lemons next. For that, I'm going to use Y15, 08, and 06. I'm going to start with my Y15. And then let's do this one down here at the bottom. She dropped. Put a little bit of down there. And then up here, for these, I'm going to do a little bit right next to her arm and right next to the sack. And then I want to add Y08. And then we're going to add Y06. And 
And then I'm going to add a second coat of my Y15. Just to give it a little bit more contrast here at the bottom. For the spoon up here, we're going to use E35 and 55. I'm going to start with my E35. And we're just going to do a little dab of that along the bottom. She's got a little bit showing there between her finger. And then we're going to bring this over here. And then I'm going to add E55. Let's do her little pinafore next. For that, we're going to use YG25, 05, and 01. And we're going to start with our YG25. And first off, she's got a couple of little straps up here, so I'm going to color those. Color that right in. And then over here, let's see, there's a little bit showing in between that little sack there. down this side of the jar. And then let's add a little dab right along this wrinkle here at the bottom or the bottom of her dress. And I'm going to do a little bit in here and there. And then over here in this jar, let's do a little dab like that. Then let's add YG05. Let's do on top of the jar right here, and then a little dab inside, and then we're going to add YG01. dab over here in the jar. And then let's see for her shorts down here I'm going to do YG25 and I'm going to do the little lines on her shorts. And then the little cuffs at the bottom. And then I'm going to add YG05 to my cuff. And 
and YG01. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do our shoes too. So let's do YG25. And YG05. And then YG01. For the little flowers on her shoe, I'm going to use R27 and then Y15 for the center. For the petals, I'm going to do R27. And then we'll fill in the center with Y15. Let's give it a little dab. All right, so for the shorts and these strings and these little straps up here on our pinafore, we're going to use BG45, BG53, and B000. I'm going to start with my BG45. And let's go right along the top of these little short stripes, or in between the stripes. And then for the straps, let's do a little dab over here. And this one you can see the back of the strap, so I'm going to go like this. Oh, I forgot part of our little shirt right here. We'll fix that in just a second. And then I'm going to add BG53. And then we're going to do B triple zero. And then I'm going to grab my BG45 and redo the inside of this for a second time, make it a little bit darker. And then we got this cute little strap right here that I forgot. So let's draw, grab YG, um, nope, not that. Let's grab, well, I put it on the wrong pin, that probably doesn't help. Let's grab <laughs> YG25. 
And for that, let's do the inside right here. Give it a second coat. I'm going to be a little bit darker. Okay. And then I'm going to fill in the rest with my YG05. And then she's got a little dot of skin showing there. So let's do that with our E00. For the sack, let's use E81 and E50. We're going to start with our E81. The sun has decided to come out and right, go right through down the middle of my camera area. So let's move over here on the side a little bit. do E50. And then I want to do a second coat of my E81. So that leaves us with the picture. For that, we're going to use V20 and B quadruple zero. I'm going to start with my V20. And let's do a little dab of that. Well, right here between her finger because there's a pot right there. And then right here. And then I'm going to take this and go right along the edge of this. And that. And then over here. Let's go around over this way. And then I'm going to add B quadruple zero. I'm also going to put a little bit over the top of this dress. Let's hop down here and give her something to stand on. For that, we're going to use W2 and W0. I'm going to start with my W2. And let's go out here a little bit away from her shoe. And then under her shoe. And then her little pot over here, I want to give that a little bit of a shadow too. So we'll go like this. Then I want to add W0. And 
And then I'm going to give a second coat of my W2. So there is our beautiful lemons all colored up. Isn't she super cute? If you would like to see the finished card, head over to the store blog and view post for January 28, 2017. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.